Let's just talk briefly about restless legs. A lot of patients complain about that. What are some of the things that cause restless legs? What are some of the home remedies or treatments that you use to treat the restless legs to help people sleep better at night? This will be our last question and then we'll wrap up. Okay, so restless leg syndrome or willis ekbaum disease is a complex, it's a complex neurological sensory and motor complex problem. Basically, there is patients, how the patients describe to me that they have, an, they have an urge to move their legs. And that urge is not relieved except when they move. And the symptoms tend to happen mostly close to bedtime or in the evening. And the scientific basis for that is that as we go through the day, our dopamine stores are depleted. And the pathophysiology behind them is actually also dopaminergic system abnormality in the brain. The so dopamine is a neurotransmitter release in the brain, which regulates the motor control, the fine motor control of the body. And there are at least one area, substantia nigra in the brain. It's a specific area in the brain, which has rich iron stores and iron is required for the functioning of this dopamine system. And that's why we see in, in end-stage renal disease patients or in pregnant women where there are depleted iron stores, mm -hmm. repleting iron does tend to help these patients' symptoms quite a bit. There is another component is the sensory input, which is basically coming from their, from their peripheral nerves in which there is an abnormal perception of those feelings in the legs. For example, patients may describe that they have, they have bugs crawling over their, uh, over their legs, or they have a sensation of coke in their veins, and, or they have just an urge that they can't stay still. It can be in one leg, it can be in two legs, it can be in arms, it can be in legs. Really, it's a clinical diagnosis. So once you diagnose it, the treatment is mostly, first thing to check is the, it's the iron stores. If the ferritin level, even if they're not anemic, if their iron stores are low, it means that their brain iron is going to be definitely low and replacing it with iron does seem to help significantly. After that, if they don't get better or their iron levels are normal, you can try dopamine agonists, obviously carbidopa, levodopa, they do have their side effects that falling out of favor because of augmentation that they develop with, which is when you give them the medication, the symptoms actually get worse. 